Welcome back to Good Morning Texas. I'm here with Julian Brittany from the Fitness Institute of Texas, and I'm here with Mars from Longhorn Bar. Hello, Martha. Okay, so what exactly are the Longhorn Bars? They're nutrition bars that are branded with the Longhorn brand, and they're very, very good. Uh, the, we have protein bars, which have 10 grams of protein, and we have energy bars, which are a great snack. All right, um, what would you say would be the best use for these? Are they more of like a meal supplement or are they more of like a snack for after a workout or a snack in, in between classes? How would you say would be the best way for students to eat these? Well, I eat them all the time. I eat uh, the smaller uh, mixed berry snack for breakfast. And uh, in the afternoon, after a walk or uh, exercise, I'll take a protein bar. Now, how you ought to eat them, the Fitness Institute can tell you, but uh, I think they're good all-round snacks. All right. So what, what would you say that you guys, um, what's your opinion on how you would eat these then? I really like the smaller bars for a good get you through the middle of the afternoon snack. They have um, lots of complex carbohydrates that will help keep your energy up and keep you going until dinner. The protein bar is excellent for um, post-exercise because it has simple sugar in it and amino acids for muscle recovery. So I really recommend those more for energy during and after workouts. Um, so how did the Longhorn Bar actually get started here on, on campus? That's a great question. A friend of mine, Linda Addison, and I had worked together on a number of UT uh, things over the years. The Commission of 125, founding the Center for Women in the Law, and we really enjoyed working together on behalf of the university. So we were looking for another project, and we were both interested in healthy, good foods. And we looked around at what the Longhorn brand was on, and it's on a lot of great things, but not a lot of consumables. And the consumables that it was on weren't exactly what we thought of as healthy, nutritious products. So we thought, there's a space for this. And the Longhorn brand is so powerful that uh, it draws people to it. So uh, another thing that we were excited about was that kids that eat snacks that may not be healthy for them would be drawn to the Longhorn brand and eat something that was really good for them. So we started down the road of getting a license and developing the product. So after it was started, how did you guys end up hearing about the Longhorn Bar? Well, she actually um, came to us as not part of the Longhorn Bar to get expert opinions on the nutritional quality of the bar so that she could get a little more approval outside of her own knowledge of what's in it. And we looked at it and absolutely agree that it had whole ingredients and things that we like to see on a Nutrition Facts label. Awesome. And so. Um, the Longhorn Bar also has the Longhorn name on it, but doesn't the proceeds also go towards the, the university as well, don't they? Yes. In order to use this Longhorn brand, you have to have a license agreement with the university. And we specified that all of the pro proceeds, and that's 12% of the revenue that we get from the sale of the bar, would go to support academics at the university. So we're very proud to have a great tasting product that's good for you that supports academics at UT. And to the nutrition piece, we worked with sports nutritionists and we worked with food scientists to develop this product. So we felt confident that we had a great product and we wanted affirmation from a third party. That's why we went to the Fitness Institute. We're picky with our nutrition. As Brittany said, she's the registered dietitian. And you flip something over and start reading the ingredient list. We felt good about what was on the list and we feel good about recommending it to students. Awesome. Well, I am anxious to try these then. Um, I think I'm going to try this chocolate chunk and cinnamon bar. Um, it's my favorite. Is, oh, it's my yeah. favorite. <laughs> um, so this is the protein bar, right? And then yes. um, the recommended use for this is this protein. Would that be more um, for like after a workout then since it's, it's a protein one? Absolutely. And You'll have to do your push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Mm, they are real good. <laughs> We were hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay you either. <laughs> Good, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you like them. Okay, so we have some sheets that we're, that we're making sure are available around campus and in stores, and that has all the nutrition information on it that people can read more easily than on the back mm -hmm. of a bar. And um, our company 
uh, mission is fueling bodies because these will fuel your body and funding minds because the money goes to right. the university. So um, I'm glad you like them. We think so, it's a pretty smart snack. <laughs> where, can, where can students find these on, on campus or anywhere else? Uh, and all of the um, all of the convenience stores mm -hmm. on campus, Cypress Bend, and over in Ken's Market, and in Jester, and in uh, Littlefield. Right. You can find them at the Longhorn Limited Sports Store. Um, they can find them in the Performing Arts Center. And they can find them in the co-op and all of the co-op locations. Well, awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys coming out and talking to us about this. And it definitely seems like a very good bar. And, and for having us. you can find them in HEBs tomorrow. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, that awesome. good? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Thank I really you. appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. It. Thanks for having us. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back with Good Morning Texas right here on Texas Student Television.